The Kansas City Chiefs had their Super Bowl victory parade today, where thousands of Chiefs fans gathered around Union Station when shots began to erupt. Guys, 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 something's going on. Now, plenty of police were available to immediately respond to the shooting. But also, as one man was allegedly fleeing with a weapon, several fans stepped in to stop him. Now, after the police made the detainment, this is apparently the man that was tackled, who was allegedly beside this weapon and backpack that also appears to have another AR pistol stock sticking out. As a man fans are hailing as a hero, stated this. One guy was hollering and saying, you know, stop him, Ch or catch him, you know, tackle him, whatever. And he's just, just bailing running. So I went to go tackle him and another gentleman did the same thing. And as I'm tackling him, I see his weapon either fall out of his hand or out of his sleeve because he was wearing a long jacket. Now other videos popped up of these three individuals being arrested and also this unknown male being detained as well as initial witnesses suggest that there was multiple shooters. In the garage, it sounded like they were securing Union Station because there was maybe some return fire from someone else is what I heard, but I don't know if the police even knew at that point. It was a lot of confusion. With police reporting, they have three of the four seen arrested in custody. We do have three persons detained and under investigation for today's incident. We are working to determine if one of the three are, are the one that was in that video. Uh, where, where fans assisted police. But still no motive. Right now we do not have a motive, um, but we are asking those who may potentially have any kind of information, a witness or video to contact police. As we all know, eyewitnesses, especially in high stress situations, aren't necessarily the best sources of information. And the facts around these situations are quickly changing, so it's difficult to determine exactly what's happening, especially when CNN's front page on the incident immediately goes into crime stats that seemingly omit a large portion of this crime and quickly begin broadcasting alongside victims of previous incidents. This is the reality of living in America, these shootings that you see. And we are joined now by Manuel and Patricia Oliver, uh, who of course are the parents of Joaquin Oliver, known lovingly as Guac by so many of his friends and family, um, who was killed that day six years ago in his creative writing class. And MSNBC is not much better as they immediately blame Missouri's open carry laws, dramatizing their deaths as Americans love affair with weapons. So that's why I had to turn to Daily Mail of all places for even reasonable reporting, as they report one dead, 29 injured, and nine believed to be kids, where the incident occurred outside Union Station, which going by the Kansas City Chiefs map, was just outside where their parade took place. So the Kansas City Chiefs tweeted out that their hearts go out to the victims, their families, and all of Kansas City, confirming all their coaches, players, staff, and families are safe, and thank the local law enforcement. So obviously a lot of people will have opinions about what's going on here, but honestly at this point, I don't think there's anything reliable enough to commentate about definitively. But I did find it important to provide a concise video of what we can, with a minimal slant as to why. So our hearts go out to the victim, Lisa Lopez Galvin, a Kansas City Chiefs superfan, disc jockey, and mother of two. And there's no sign off or promo here. I just think it'd be best to watch a clip of the Chiefs star running back, Isaiah Pacheco, celebrating the parade, just signing autographs and taking selfies with the kids, and just enjoying the moment with the fans. 